Well, folks, we seem to have a problem here. What, might you ask, is this? And those are this, what's left of the spring hangers for this trailer. They're broken on that side as well. And just to show you, this one is not terrible yet, but you see that crack right there? And there's another crack over there, ready to fail. This one also looks like it's been set bent sideways. So I'm not sure that that one's gonna make it. So this is another one I welded on back here. That one's gone. Oh, this one, this one here is probably maybe okay. Uh, it looks pretty sideways. And you can see marks here where we're bottoming out. And also right there. So if you look back in that middle hanger, you can kind of see how it looks a little Western and sideways. So that one's off as well and needs to get fixed. Hey, Sep, getting all the axles out. Spring bushings are also a little shot. I did a little grinding, a little bit of pounding, and I got to do a little bit more grinding and uh, rinse and repeat. And this one's not looking great. You can see a crack right there. It's also got a little bit of a kick to it. And uh, the reason why these tires are bald on one side is probably because those uh, bushings are gone. off ground clean nothing like a uh, good floppy disk to uh, clean that right up brackets are ground off so here's the old one you can see it's got a little bit of a kick to that side these are the ones that Steve did a fantastic job of going and getting and they look practically identical so that is wonderful now where things change is these were the original ones right here and you can see height wise these new ones are quite a bit higher Thickness wise, about the same thickness. And looks like that's got a spot to plug weld that one as well. I'm not sure I'm going to use that just in case. These are also a lot thicker. So that also is probably a good thing. So let's get these things squirted on there. We've got a whole bunch of welding to do. I got a whole bunch of bushings to do. Hey everybody, that's my one halfway decent weld. And you're going to get a good close-up shot of that, not of any of the other ones because they look terrible.
Yeah, why aren't you welding the sides of those brackets? Um, because the, t uh, the forces are only back and forth because they're located the springs. And two, that's how the manufacturer did it. And three, it makes it really easy to take it off because all you have to do is cut those two and off it comes. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. I've never seen a trailer welded all the way through that way. I would just think it would add more, uh, uh, you know, mass support for the wonky driving we're doing. Well, if we did anything, what we would do is run a triangle down here, and that we could do. I would think triangles would help, but I don't think more welding would. Okay. Would. How's that for an answer? Yeah. Steve is doing triangle math. Yes. Why? Why are you doing triangle math? Uh, to figure out what the new horizontal is with the lower drop. Okay, so because the old spring shackle was about like this, Steve's got probably the right idea that this needs to be out or in. Something like that. Um, probably a little bit out because the horizontal or the vertical is lower, so the bar is going to move a little further out. Got it. So this, the old one was 849 and 1764 and the new one is 1. Uh, Meanwhile, while Steve is doing good math, I uh, sprayed a little paint on these. I'm just going to squirt them up and we're just going to go. Your math came eighth an inch wider? Yeah, so because the spring is now, it was like this, and now it is like that, it is an eighth of an inch longer throw, so the bracket can move out an eighth of an inch. Okay, so what we have here is these are the marks of the original bracket, and instead of centering that there, we're going to go, we're going to cheat it back an eighth. Yep. Okay, and then we're basically going to do one. Duplicate that on the other side, bolt the back axle on, make sure that that works, and then burn in the front one if uh, we didn't completely foo our things to uh, pieces. Right there. Did I get a goddamn hole? Oh. Shit! I got a spark in me. Oh. How far did I get in there? Oh, it burned right through my shirt. Damn, that hurt. purposes a 16th shy of 26 and a half so what is that 26 and 7 16 yep okay I think I got something nothing about this trailer is
Okay. Oh, I see. You, uh, I've welded myself into into a bad spot here. And let me drive this other side. And then I'll straighten it out. Nope, that's doing it. That's doing it. It's zipping really tight to a very hot piece of metal. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yep. So I need more steering and more gappage. Yep. That makes sense. There you go. Perfect. I did it. Okay. So there are bushings in the backs of these yep. eyelets. Uh, uh, your chops? I am really close here, but it needs to go just this. There it goes. Okay. So the back is in. Ow. Okay, hold on. Uh, I want that back one in the back pocket. Does that make sense? Uh -oh. Can you kick the front yeah, forward? Yeah, I, I need to find the link. Right, well, kick the front one forward so I can get this one in. The front what? That axle on that side. Okay. Kick it forward just a little bit while I hold it in the spring hanger and that should turn it around the corner a little bit. There we go. I'm not in. That seems to have gotten me within range of this one. Well, if it fits, then the rears were straight on. And there's no... Yeah, there's none. Yeah, they were straight on. Because look at the front. There's this yeah. front one that I never unbolted. Yeah. It's straight on. Okay, well we're going to have to jack this up to get bushings in the back. Or down, but yeah. Yeah. side to come forward so that okay. it'll rotate inside this spring hole. Okay, yep, that did it. Okay, don't move. Beautiful. Okay, I got one in. Okay. I'll get the money on this back one. Okay, so let's not use my good screwdriver. I can give you a... What's that? It wasn't terrible, but when in Rome... Yep. I'm assuming this one needs it. So you want these in first? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to get on the other side. Yep, we'll drive that one in and I'll drive this one. Okay, I'm in on mine. Okay, let you bolt yours in place. Okay, hand me a bolt. Or, actually I got one from the... This is big enough to be worthy, but actually, I need my little bit here. Okay, you can roll it in, it'll go in. No, okay, I lost it. Knock it off. Very well. Can I have the pry bar? Probably. That should do it. There we go. Can you pull it back just a little bit while I do that with the tire? Yep. Back just a little. Whoa, whoa, too much. Too forward. Just needed a, just a touch and that was a half inch. Some reason, you know, what? Let's see. Well, how should we count the waves? Um, six and a half tons of roof shingles. Uh, how many off road trips have we gone on? Uh, taking this to, uh, well, uh, how about um, Laduke Road? Yeah. Um, do you remember the um, pictures of this? Uh, pretty much at a 45 degree angle, sideways, mudding through, uh, you know. We haven't abused this poor trailer at all, have we? Um, what was the time you came home and told me you had seven tons of gravel in this thing? Was it seven? Uh, no, it was six. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you can say everything's a little beat up, but, um, yeah. I can't even get these nuts to flip them around. Yeah. Uh, one side is definitely beat up, but the other yeah. side will thread easily. There. That is the uh, sauce, if you know what I mean. Yes. This one's a little hard to handle. One hand. Yeah, that's best shot right there. Yeah, it needs to go up more. You have to tap it. Tap. There. Okay. Well, that's good enough for me. Okay. So we got that, that, that. 
So we weld the front one on and uh, we're done, right? Yep. All right, you wanna hit me with a tape measure? Ow. More. Right there, 7 sixteenths. All right, can you get to that one? Yeah, I can now. Now, do we want to do the same tactic front first? Yep. On there, good. It doesn't look okay. Since there's no leaks in the back. I got it. Yeah, there you go. All right, what do we need? We need to kick it over? Yeah. Right there. Did I do it? Um, nope. Keep kicking. It's not moving. Uh, this other front one looks like it's really close, or it was, but now it's moved. Actually, it needs to come back now. Uh, you're hanging up on your spring shackles, what you were doing. Okay. Nope, now way too far. I need to go up. There you go. Now I can come back. That makes sense? Yep. Okay, I got this one. Uh, so now we got the opposite problem. So now we got We still need to go down. See what I'm saying? In order to go down, I need that land up. So I need somebody on. The, there it goes. Yeah, just come on over here and put the bolt in, and you're good. Well, let me know what I need to do. Well, I can't use the. Hey, well, me, I can do it. Tires in the way. Oh, I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bracket's not at it anywhere close. Try that. Yep, keep going. Perfect. That one was easy. Yeah. How, how, how did we get that lucky? Okay. Now the hard part. Yeah. 
And actually, uh, what might fix it is lowering the tongue. Yeah. Huh? Moving. I needed a whole rock bar, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, we don't have the height. Let's get, start dropping the tongue. Yeah. Getting there. Okay, hold on. I've got contact. Now I gotta get uh, okay. enough frying action to. Okay, go down. Centering all, steer the tire a little forward and it'll go yeah, right. Can you get to the bolt first. Yeah. yeah. Can you see it from your end and let me know what I need to hand me the all. It's a good it's a wiggle and a shove, you know what I mean? Get it. Beautiful, just okay. like that. Could not have asked for anything more than that. Yep, we're in. Okay, now it needs to go down, find up. Okay, we gotta. Can you shove forward? We are fixed. Uh, other than hooking the brakes back up again. Can't tighten me all the way down. Yeah. Here, I can... Thank you. Reverse it. Beautiful. You want to work on dropping and I'll work on the brakes? Or? Yep. All right, one last thing to do is to hook up this really, really, really hokey brake system. I used a conduit and I ran it all the way back up and down the trailer and I've never bothered to fix it. And there is uh, no gland right here. There was just a couple zip ties kind of holding it together and you know what? Uh, and uh, wire nuts. It was good enough for them. Good enough for right now. Oh, dirty. Uh, okay, well, dump trailer is fixed. It is late afternoon, and it is the wrong time to get started doing a recovery, but here we go. That's what we're doing. Goodman Creek Road, it's right around the corner. It's not too far, so wish me luck. question is is it still here and yes yes it is still here <laughs>